Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about whether or not you should consider getting the i7 over the i5 in the titanium system. So as you've probably seen, the titanium system comes with an unlocked i5 processor. It comes with the highest end i5 processor. And in many cases, it's faster than other i7s. So, you know, this i5 running in the upper 4 gigahertz is actually faster than a lower end, like an i7 8700 that's not overclocked. So it's still a very fast processor. Now the difference between the i7 and the i5 is pretty slight. There's a little bit of difference in clock speed like 0.1 or 0.2 gigahertz and that's where you get a slight bump in performance. And the other difference is with hyperthreading. Hyperthreading really only helps when you're running multiple programs or a program that can leverage many many cores and currently X-Plane can leverage several cores but not in, definitely not any more than four and if you want to know what hyperthreading is just go google it google what is hyperthreading you can get a detailed explanation but again the difference between the i5 and the i7 is that small clock speed difference and the addition of hyperthreading and again hyperthreading really doesn't benefit X-Plane that much now I've done some benchmarking which I have on this piece of paper just to give you an idea uh, in one particular uh, benchmark I ran on the i5, I got 89 frames per second, and on the i7, I got 92 frames per second. So you're talking three frames per second there at about three and a half percent performance boost. And that was done at 4K uh, with medium settings. On 4K with high settings, I got 52 on the i7 frames per second and 51 on the i5. So that's only 2% performance difference. And we'll do one more here. Um, on 1080p high settings, I got 76 frames per second on the i7 and 71 on the i5. A little bit bigger difference there. Um, but you know, there's also a margin of error in these things where um, you know, maybe if I ran that test again, I'd only see two or three frames per second difference. So the bottom line is, when it comes to X-Plane at least, you're only looking at anywhere from zero to five percent performance improvement. The only way you're really going to see a bigger performance improvement is if you're running multiple programs. Now if you're running, let's say, Air Manager on top of uh, X-Plane, or you're running um, Reality XP, I think is what, was it called Reality XP? I think that's what it's called, where you can run a Garmin in a separate application. In other words, you're running these add-on extra programs in addition to X-Plane, then maybe the i7 will give you a little bit more of a performance boost. But for the average X-Plane user, the i7 versus the i5, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. You're only going to be able to tell if you measure it like I did here and see, oh yeah, I do, do get two more frames per second or three more frames per second. So hopefully that helps you decide whether or not you need the i7 or not.